Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday was one of the craziest days I've seen in a long time on FIFA with the meta and a new patch changing the market so much that it caused player prices to crash in some areas and other player prices are going up like crazy specifically because of the lengthy meta and the change to the gameplay that this most recent patch has evidently produced and a lot of people are starting to talk about this and sell their lengthy cards because they're not as overpowered as before so i want to take a look at prices that were reacting yesterday to all that news of the new patch and how it was changing gameplay and we're going to try to talk through all of that but of course look at the path to glory cards because it's thursday guys and this is the day that we were saying to look for a few of these guys and a lot of the path to glory cars continue to rise in price as this week of content has been decent but it hasn't been downright amazing and people have not had a reason to sell these cards they've just been buying these cards and the prices keep going up and up and up and we're at a point now where it's like hmm are these cards too high to invest in or is there still opportunity to rise because they are live they get upgrades but they go out of packs. So we're going to talk about all that and what to expect today on a Thursday. We don't really know exactly. We haven't had any leaks. What's coming tomorrow on Friday? We'll discuss all that in today's video. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start with all of this meta lengthy market crash stuff because some of you guys maybe got on the game yesterday and saw that lengthy players that you had in your team let's say you had like an erling holland in form that you thought was worth somewhere around 370,000 coins yeah this guy's now under 300k or maybe you even had one of the biggest drops in the yesterday market madness was cristiano ronaldo's rule breakers card who had actually just about an hour ago was 100k cheaper than this in the panic selling but this guy was 1.5 million coins dropped all the way down to about 1.1 where he is right now absolutely crazy all the lengthy players are dropping like mad and the explosive and controlled players are going up a lot in price as this meta has seemingly shift with the latest patch now what i want to do first is take you through the situation and talk quickly i'm not a gameplay guy of course you guys know this right but I want to take you through quickly, quickly what caused all this madness yesterday, just that you are aware. So there were tweets that started to surface about the post patch update and specifically some of the gameplay screenshots and videos that you see here in this video from I am French. This is one of the most popular tweets from yesterday. Um, you can see that Insigne is outpacing Van Dyke in this image and before Insigne being an explosive player and Van Dyke being lengthy you would have thought that Insigne would have absolutely been caught up and ran over by a lengthy card like Van Dyke right you've got a controlled Berardi in this image uh, against Rudiger who is lengthy and you can see that Rudiger does not quickly catch up to Berardi it takes him a bit and Berardi actually ends up getting through and they end up getting a goal so that's kind of what ha happened yesterday on the game is that everybody started to see these tweets and everybody started to get hype about oh my goodness is the lengthy meta over with stuff that happened in this new patch and people started playing the game and it seemed to be the case that lengthy was not as overpowered as before but what really happened in the pitch notes nothing was said about them changing the accelerate styles or them changing that side of the game but ea did release a statement yesterday after all this stuff started to get out and being talked about they said that the only adjustment that they made was to uh dribbling slowdown that could have happened at times when sprinting with the ball and the slowdown most commonly affected players with high dribbling related attributes so these players that had high dribbling attributes we maybe even didn't even realize this because we thought it's how the game how the game was actually going to be but players were just slowing down and it said in the pitch notes that they mentioned that it might happen in some cases but evidently whatever tweak or whatever thing that they changed about the game made these high dribbling attribute players dribble a lot faster and make them feel a lot more meta and even though they say in here they didn't change anything specifically with the accelerate values it definitely feels different on the game so i think what ea is saying is actually true they did not change anything they did not technically nerf uh the lengthy accelerate style they did not buff themselves technically the accelerate style what they did was they took away that dribbling bug that was impacting players with high dribbling but now when you play the game the game and dribbling with those higher rated uh, uh, dribbling players feels completely 
different. So it is. there is no denying that the game does definitely feel different. I'm not saying that lengthy players are no longer good anymore because I still think they have their place. A lot of defenders are lengthy and they're still good, right? I still enjoy using this Desai. He's a very good card. My red tail is lengthy. He's still great, right? But with that news being out, a lot of people, specifically with attackers, started to sell their lengthy attackers and everybody started to go onto the market and buy explosive and control players because of that news. So put all of the, is it actually true to the side, right? Is the lengthy, is there a change? Is the ex explosive and controlled more overpowered in game? Put all that conversation to the side for a second. When you look at how the market has moved, People bought into it, again, with the hype. I mean, you see there's like 1.5 million views on this. This sparked a whole bunch of conversation. There's a lot of videos that are out there. Go watch your favorite gameplay YouTuber. They're di deep diving into some of this stuff. Play the game yourself, kind of form your opinion. But what is factual is how the community grasped this information and went all out to the controlled and explosive players those guys are up big. Mbappe from 1.07 yesterday had there was a huge like uh, hour of you know like panic buying early in the day yesterday, a couple hours before content. Mbappe went up like 200,000 coins. He's now right around 1.2 mil. Like there are so many cards that went up so much further yesterday because uh, people starting to get excited about the explosive um, and controlled. Uh, accelerate style, right? You saw the Alawarian card go to 670. I actually picked one up yesterday at 630. He is continuing to rise now. He's like 680,000 coins. So that's the one side of the coin, right? All of your explosive and control players went up. Even your defenders, right? Look at Tamori. Tamori from 290 spiking to 330. That's where he is now, 335,000 coins. We could go on and on looking at so many cards that absolutely exploded in price yesterday because of that uh, adjustment to what the meta seemingly is and how people wanted to go out and, and play with some of those cards instead of playing with those lengthy cards from before, right? Usman Dembele, another great option. Uh, as Again, you see the spike from 200k to 270 this card was. Absolutely crazy. And then, of course, on the other side of the coin, you had so many of these lengthy cards that were overpowered The people would love to use start to drop off in price. Erling Holland is down like 30% in price, almost 20%. He was 1.24, went all the way down to like 950. He's back up just a hair to about a million coins at the moment. The Ronaldo card that we looked at, you know, some of your other lengthy cards like Perisic is down. Ferland Mendy, some of these center backs are down. Virgil van Dijk and Cristiano Ronaldo gold. Cristiano Ronaldo gold card, guys, is literally at his minimum price. Ronaldo cannot go any lower. He's 160K at the moment on the market, which is ridiculous. Number one, it's ridiculous that a Ronaldo at this stage of the game is 160K and at his minimum price. And, and B, like dropping from 200K to 160, this Ronaldo is still very usable. I mean, it seems like people are forgetting that you can use Ronaldo with any other chem style other than Architect to make him lengthy, right? Just do what you do with Ronaldo every year. Put an engine on the card and he's probably still pretty good in game, right? It's Ronaldo. He's got insane base shooting, uh, shooting stats and still probably very solid with his five-star skills, four-star weak foot with an engine chemistry style, right? And with the controlled accelerate type. And again, this only impacts new gen, by the way. If you're on old gen, you're like, my game really didn't change that much. Accelerate styles don't mean anything for me anyways, but I still have to live with this market that is being controlled by the hype of the, the next gen meta. So that's kind of a weird situation in and of itself, but that is what is going crazy on the market. Now, some of you guys, again, like you see these prices moving, you might've woken up yesterday and seen your cards down like crazy and see like, man, my Ronaldo's down bad or my Virgil van Dijk is down bad. Or of course, the other side of the coin is you might've gone on and seen, wow, my Usman Dembele went from 200K to 240K, what gives, right? So the market was all over the place yesterday. And I have to say, it was one of the craziest things that I've ever seen with the meta and with, uh, changing like that with the latest patch and then the community just grasping on the, almost that like herd mentality for a sense with that hour of panic buying where people just like saw all that info and they're like oh my goodness this is the new reality of the game they went out and they bought cards and sold cards and, and panic sold those uh, non-meta types which i still think lengthy is very good to have you know it just explosive and controlled are now a little bit more usable than they were before so that's kind of what went on with the market yesterday and the number one thing that i learned was i lost coins yesterday on a couple cards right i lost coins on a holland i bought this at 1.01 sold it at a million coins just to get my coins back to try to make some other trades 
when the cards kind of fall out of favor, when something like this meta changes, uh, then, you know, I tried to buy a Holland card like this for a potential bounce back, and he really didn't bounce back that well. I still have an Inform Holland that I'm kind of losing some coins on as well. Not a ton, but just enough to be kind of a pain, right? Now, there were cards that got panic sold, like this Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Road to the Knockouts. Aubameyang was down at 390k, bounced back up to about 450. So there were cards that got panic sold that rebounded back. Um, but again, you just had to find the very rare cards that would bounce back the most. How much is Kevin De Bruyne? Kevin De Bruyne is only back up a little bit. He was 475, now back up to about 500. So I, uh, for today with Thursday and the rivals and the market, I was like, all right, I'm going to stay away from that stuff that is being kind of pushed off as no longer as meta. So I'm kind of staying away from the lengthy cards. And I went out and picked up some high tier golds just because I don't think the market's going to go up a ton today. But I picked up some high tier golds of cards that, you know, were kind of written off and overlooked. You know, I got some messies for under 100,000 coins. I picked up a couple Muhammad Salah and like 120K because I'm like, okay, if people are going out and adding these players to their squads that are explosive and that are controlled that they want to try out, looks like these guys are up just a little bit. You know, I think... These are the types of players people are going to go out and try. So I wanted to try to buy into thinking of what the meta is now and how the meta is maybe changing a little bit rather than trying to buy the cards that seemingly are way too cheap because they've dropped off a lot in price and hoping that they go back just based off of rarity or based off of a big name like Holland or like the Christian Ronaldo. So lesson learned yesterday for me for sure, but that was definitely one of the first times I've ever seen something like that happen in such a short time frame on the game. It was absolutely wild. It still feels weird to, to be like all the change that happened yesterday just came out of nowhere and it was literally a shock to see, but it definitely moved the market. So if you have any questions, drop them down below. I know it's kind of confusing about the whole lengthy thing. The bottom line is there was a gameplay patch. The gameplay feels different and lengthy cards don't feel to be as elite as they do before. Now it really feels like we the explosive and controlled cards are probably playing in the game like they actually should. But that's enough gameplay talk. We need to talk more about the market and specifically these World Cup Path to Glory cards because this was our day on Thursday with Rivals Rewards and with Marquee Matchups that we were going to look at these cards and say, hey, is there a potential investment here? I still think that there is, but I think the margins have been thinned on a lot of these cards and how much they can go up because the content over the course of the last few days hasn't been absolutely knocking out of the ballpark insane level of content. It's just been decent. And of course, since these are live cards and upgrading cards, and a lot of people are looking forward to the games that start in, you know, like three days, four days, right? We are literally on the doorstep of the World Cup. These guard prices just keep going up. And again, this Carvel Hall, I was hoping to get for like 140K, 130K. He's 175, right? These prices just do not want to go down that much as the live card hype is taking over, as the World Cup is getting close. And a lot of people, I think, have been buying up these cards across the course of the week. Do these cards look investable in me, for me today? The answer is yes, but I'm just a little bit leery. I'm a little bit leery on these because I just feel like they're up so much. We're going to have a new set of Path to Glory cards, most likely coming in packs tomorrow, some of which from the same nation, right? Remember, we had a leaked Marco Royce German card. Could that hurt Serge Gnabry a little bit? I don't know, maybe a little bit to have another German PTG card in the game that's maybe more hyped. We have a Lukaku, right? We're getting a Carrasco, or at least that's what it was leaked to be for Team 2. Could that hurt this card a little bit? Maybe. But my best advice for you would be, if you see drop-offs in price on these cards today, I'm talking 5% or more drop-offs, uh, I think it would be an opportunity to get in on some of these cards. I like Araujo. Um, I like Carvel Hall. I like Nabry, Lukaku. Uh, and even some of the expensive guys, right? Griezmann had like a couple hours yesterday where he just really spiked and got really rare. He went from like 520K all the way to 570 for a little bit. Now he kind of came back down to where he is now, like 530. But like if I would see Griezmann today at Rivals Rewards, if you're awake watching this video and you're on the market, like 500K or maybe even 510 for Griezmann, he could very easily go back up to 570, 580 this weekend, depending on how the market is and how uh, content goes. But here's what I would say. I know these are live cards. I know these are updating. We're getting more of them this coming weekend. The, the investment here just is a little bit risky because they're already up so much. And that's the part that I don't like. And of course, we have games starting on our first live card 
Um, unless we have a Qatar or an Ecuadorian PTG that drops. Our first game is on Sunday for the World Cup, but then Monday we've got England-Iran. So you've got Jack Grealish and whatever English card, maybe Kyle Walker, that is going to drop uh, tomorrow and Friday, Path to Glory Team 2. And then you've got USA and Wales, so you've got maybe a Christian Pulisic that's going to be in action. You've got Senegal and uh, Netherlands that's happening on that day as well. So Kula, Bali, and De Jong. There's going to be movements on these cards as they go out of packs, depending on who wins their games and stuff like that. So definitely keep an eye on these cards. I'm going to be very careful with investing in them today. The two time frames where you might be able to buy them for a little bit cheaper would be during Rivals Rewards, like we mentioned, and then, of course, during marquee matchups. But I think there's so many people that are looking to invest in these cards. If, um, you know, whenever marquee matchups comes out today during rewards, you might see a bit of fluctuation with these guys' prices. But really, you know, I'm not going to be super set on investing in these because I feel like while they could go up in the next couple of days, since it's a promo Friday coming this weekend, since there's going to be a lot of market movement regardless, I think I'll be able to make just as much coins or maybe even more having a lot of my coins liquid and being able to trade in and out of cards and work the market that way. I am going to opt to do that more so than just put a whole bunch of coins into these Path to Glory cards and hope for them to rise over the weekend. So that's the way that I'm looking at it. But I know some of you guys want to invest in these, and I do think that there will be a few of them that will rise up, of course, in the coming days and weeks as we get closer to upgrades. You guys have seen how crazy the upgrades are. Like live cards this year, people just hold them until they're like, I don't even know, it's crazy. Renato Sanchez is like 780,000 coins, 800K for Renato Sanchez right now. Absolutely wild, right? with how expensive this card is, still with a, an upgrade and impending, of course, or even like once to watch Anthony, right? Since these guys still have one more upgrade left in them and they're live, their prices just stay really high. It's really nuts, but that's just how it goes with live cards. So that's a reason for PTGs, but since they're up so much, a little bit of a reason against them. So I kind of invested your own risk there, but I think it could be profitable. And that's a really big part of the market today on Thursday. I want to take a look at SBC fodder as well, because of course you guys know the fodder normal fluctuation is it goes up during the week and then returns back down to a lower price during the weekend. We're seeing the 85s and the 86s start to return down back to their low price. 85s are at 7K. That's pretty low. 86s are at 13. 84s are up a bit because yesterday we had the 84 plus upgrade, which required a couple 84s and people love gamble packs. And of course those went up. So another opportunity to sell your 84s. That was nice. Your 88s and above continue to stay a little bit high. Now they're not crazy high. Some of them were a little bit higher yesterday. I would say today with Rivals Rewards could be a last chance opportunity to see this fodder go up a little bit. And then before we get to marquee matchups, I would take the money if you still have any of this in your club because over the weekend i think you'll see that supply hit once again with promo packs in the store and stuff like that and you should see these prices inch downwards over the weekend specifically on some of the higher rated ones you know de bruyne is now fodder as a 91 rated card neuer's 50k that's crazy high 89s are all 37k apiece i would take the money on those today finish selling off your cards that you were maybe listing for lazies and take that money because during the weekend they should go down a little bit more and then we'll look to be investing in these cards once again as ea seems to be releasing gamble packs every single monday right that's the normal trend uh right now in this game and also for the world cup heroes right these guys are going out of packs tomorrow as well very interesting to look at this side of the market i would treat these almost just as similarly as you're doing with the path to glories right these guys are going out of packs um, on Friday as well. I bought an Al Oarian to try out and also to try to make some coins on. He is up. He's probably going to reach 700,000 coins by the time that he goes out of packs, in my opinion. But some of these other World Cup hero cards like Papan or Dirk Kai, I mean, some of these guys are controlled or explosive, right? And they had a boost in price yesterday with the whole, you know, that meta going up. Like this Dirk Kai was 340. Right now he's 315. That is a card for me that if I would see him go back down to like 300K, I'd be interested in that because that is a Premier League card with really nice position changes, really nice looking stats. That is a card that could rise up out of packs. Papan is one that went up yesterday. He's kind of low again. Uh, look around, you know, Park G Sung. Forlan, uh, Rudy Foller is another one that I'd keep an eye on. So just keep an eye on some of these cards. Kiwil is another one that is down a bit from where he, he was as a higher point. Lucio, just keep an eye on some of these World Cup heroes with Al Awarian specifically being the one you really want to keep an eye on. We're going to have new World Cup heroes in packs tomorrow on Friday as these guys leave. But 
you know, these guys are super duper hyped. So we're just going to have to see where that goes. Some of them could continue to rise up during the weekend. Others of them might hit a peak in the investing and in the, the opportunity of them going out of packs. But with whatever content we get tomorrow on Friday or whatever new cards come into packs, we could see those drop off maybe a little bit. Who knows? But today would be a day to catch them on a low point as they could go up in the next day or two um, into the weekend and as they go out of packs as well, especially on a guy like Alawarian, who, you know, I don't know what card from Heroes Team 2 is going to replace the hype here with 99 pace and just how cracked this guy is. His pace is unbelievable in game. Tried him out yesterday. He's the truth. So, you know, I, I think he's maybe a little expensive for the links that he provides. Doesn't help out the links in your team really at all. But, I mean, the hype is real with this card, and he is super fast, and everybody loves him. So, that's why his price continues to go up there. Now, Thursday content today, a little bit more about that. What can we expect loading screen-wise? I would expect to see a loading screen today. I also would expect to see some leaks, man. We're a little bit slow on the leaks this week. We haven't had a lot of information leaked about what's going to happen tomorrow. And usually in a two-week promo, we don't see that second week have a having a loading screen on a Wednesday, but we usually do on a Thursday. So maybe EA will tease some of those players that we had seen leaked last week that could be in Team 2 of Path to Glory. And hopefully we'll get some information about what in the world is dropping tomorrow because we feel like we're kind of left out of the zone right now in terms of what's happening but that's fine let it be a little bit of a surprise we're fine with that so watch out for a loading screen today of course watch out for your regular marquee matchups that's where the pack supply will be coming from today uh if they drop some really insane packs marquee matchups has been pretty average the past few weeks uh, but of course as always just like we have all southampton players right now at like 5k i've packed salisu like two times or three times this week sold him for 5k so keep an eye out for maybe these bottom two sbcs that are in marquee matchups today if you like trading on a lower budget you will absolutely have opportunities to trade here with these two sbcs depending on how many how good the packs are for one but also how many chemistry requirements are there what the squad is stuff like that you guys know uh to what to look out for with the marquee matchups sbcs and then other than that i don't know what else we get today on a thursday it might be a pretty quiet thursday yesterday we had david silva we've had a lot of player sbcs this past week that have just been decent or, or solid but this one wasn't really that insane a nice upgrade for sure only sixty thousand coins craftable if you want to with the player picks um i do believe that player picks are going away so this is last chance if you want to uh, to stack up some 75 plus player picks for the promo that is coming out tomorrow on Friday. So I'm going to try to do maybe a set here because I think it is very, very necessary to uh, to get a couple of these stacked up because of how decent they were this past week. But we're going to have new heroes. We're going to have new PTG cards and packs on Friday. I think that'd be a very smart thing to do to, to stack a couple of those up for the promo upcoming. Last thing is We've got a prime gaming pack that has been added to the code. I don't know if this is today. Usually this is on Mondays, right? It might be sometime in the next week or two, but the prime gaming pack looks pretty solid. So if you have Amazon prime, uh, make sure to drop a prime sub to your boy link down below twitch.tv slash the foot accountant. But if you have Amazon prime, that means you have Twitch prime and you can get this pack. So don't sleep on it. It's worth getting. Uh, and it's got some of those world cup player picks in it. Eight player picks in there. You got an 81 plus um with a player pick in there you got consumables and a holland on loan which is interesting but that pack was added to the code so just a quick update there other than that again on the leak front and stuff like that not a whole lot going on i am doing the ribbery sbc he's going to be fitting into the team i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to get the team to work out um but this is the squad at the moment just a little quick team check if you guys have not seen it in a hot minute we have been blessed recently with some pack luck um, but you know, I did, I was running Harry Kane, in the team for a long time, 230 games played with a gold Harry Kane and this Kudlusevsky, um, absolute goats and absolute legends, but we had to move on because we packed Ruli Fowler and Papan. We do have a Neymar, but I'm going to get that ribbery, put him in the side, and then I need a right wing. So maybe I'll just like buy gold Messi or I don't know who I'm going to buy, but we're just going to try to, you know, filter people in and out of that right wing spot to get chemistry and uh, have some fun with the team. But that's kind of an update on the account. And I am doing Ribery. I made a promise that I would do him just because the card looks cracked. And I want somebody emotional like that in the team. Um, you know, especially we have some emotional players in there already. Like Rudy Forlair is pretty nice. I really love Paqueta. Neymar is dope. Um, but I think that Ribery card will be one that I'll have so much fun with. So that's why I'm doing his SB. 
see. So we're going to try to make some coins in the market today. Hopefully we can see a little bit of a rise. And again, watch those explosive cards because that's what's moving on the market right now the most because that is where the hype is. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Happy Thursday. Good luck with your rivals rewards. It's been Nate, the photo count. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.